It's still kind of gross though, I wouldn't like that. Or would I? <laughs> she looks like a fiery one, she's going to be loud. Oh. <laughs> just everywhere oh you horrible horrible man you told her this is the apartment and it's the third movie from the director cut poll and the winner the director winner of the poll was billy wilder i have to keep checking because i feel like i'm saying his name wrong billy wilder the first movie we did was sunset boulevard and it was wild and i loved it and the second movie was some like it hot and it was also wild and i loved it so guess what this movie is going to be it's going to be wild and I'm going to love it. Every time I think the apartment, I'm thinking of rear window. So my guess is it's going to be something like that, which it probably will not. It will be the complete opposite and it will be something about an apartment and not a rear window. Like this video, subscribe, comment, Patreon, post notifications, all that good stuff that helps the channel grow. I love it and you love doing it. <laughs> you love it and I love it. We all love it and let's just see what this apartment is up to when it's going to be black and white and and jack <laughs> lemon or lemon it's maybe fancy lemon is in this one he was also in some like it hot as the daphne as daphne that's how should i do play so the apartment and play i work on the 19th floor section w desk number 861 this would be my worst nightmare so many people i've been with consolidated for three years and 10 months and my take home pay is 94.70 a week 94.70 a week hey that's all right that sounds all right in the 50s i very often stay on at the office and work for an extra hour you see i have this little problem with my apartment it's haunted. My rent is $85 a month. It used to be 80 until last July. Oh, I thought, I thought it was a week and then I wasn't leaving much. The only problem is I can't always get in when I want to. Why? What's going on? <laughs> Don't get it. <laughs> but I promised the guy I'd be out of here by 8 o'clock. Whose apartment is this anyway? What's the difference? Some schnook that works in the office. Oh, that's your boss. That's your boss? That's your boss and he's having an affair. So his wife can't yeah why your apartment because he's a bachelor and he hasn't got any family so he doesn't have yeah that's why that'll be why you mean you bring other girls up here certainly not i'm a happily married man <laughs> i knew it i knew it such a racket i heard in your place <laughs> maybe you had burglars <laughs> was there a lot of banging <laughs> oh if that's what they're doing and they're doing it in your bed then I hope you clean your sheets before you get into it. Discussing our department, manpower-wise, promotion-wise, I told him what a bright boy you are. They're always on the lookout for young executives. <sighs> Is he using him? Who's using who? Oh, and uh, whatever happened to those little cheese crackers you used to have around? Ah, uh, okay. I think I got it. I got it. I understand. He wants the promotion, so he's letting him do that in his apartment. It's still kind of gross, though. I wouldn't like that. Or would I? <laughs> If they were a hot couple, maybe, but not old like they are. And not my boss. Listen, kid, I can't pass this up. She looks like Marilyn Monroe. She does from behind, yeah. Who are you talking to anyway? My mother. That's real sweet. <laughs> Make it 30 minutes. What do you say, bud, huh? You're going to need more than 30 minutes. Just leave the key under the mat and clear out. Oh, what's she? Yes, Mr. Dobish. So is he getting paid for it or no? Is it just to get the promotion at work? I would want paid to... I complain, oh, okay. Um, she looks like a fiery one. She's going to be loud. You'll get the most complaints after tonight. <laughs> so what do they say? I, this, I'm guessing they don't say it's their apartment then. Mildred, he's at it again. You'd probably... Be better just telling your neighbours what you're doing. <laughs> Stop them judging you. What did you do to your hair? It was making me nervous, so I chopped it off. Big mistake, huh? It was making her nervous. <laughs> what, like something was hiding in it? Man, watch your hands, Mr. Kirk. <gasps> One of these days, I'm going to shut these doors on you and... Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Threats. I like it. I've always wanted one of those things. I don't know what they're for, but they look cool. I'm sorry about that mess on the living room wall. Kept insisting Picasso was a bum, so she started to do that mural. I thought it was some other kind of mess. 
And about your promotion, I'm sending that efficiency report right up to Mr. Sheldrake. I wouldn't be surprised if you heard from him before the day's over. You better. What a shame for him. Everyone taking advantage of the poor man. You should all just chip in for your own apartment. Probably cheaper. We'll just have to do it next Wednesday night. I got somebody penciled in. Let me see what I can do. I'll get back. Oh my God. It's every night. That's mad. All you sleazy guys just need to chip in for one apartment and then take turns like a timeshare. Let's schedule that uh, meeting for Friday. Let me see what I can do. I'll get back to you. <laughs> That's quite funny. Instead of Friday, could you possibly switch to Thursday? Let me check. I'll get back to you. This is even worse that they're planning it like well in advance so they know when they're going to cheat. It's okay for Thursday. Thank you, Mr. Kirkaby. Now phone everyone else and let them know. <laughs> you poor man. You need a personal assistant. Mr. Sheldrake's secretary. Sheldrake? She's been trying to reach you for the last 20 minutes. They want you upstairs. Good luck. Going up? No. Oh, excuse, excuse me. <laughs> Hi. 27, please. And right. right. carefully. You're carrying precious cargo. He likes her. Just about you. When you were still in the local elevator, you always wore a flower. <laughs> Good luck. Oh. Wipe your nose. Wipe your nose. Do they really need, like, an, an elevator attendant person? Can they not just push the button themselves? Tell me, Baxter, just what is it that makes you so popular? I don't know. Think. He knows, all right. There's a certain key floating around this office. It's the key to a certain apartment. You know who that apartment belongs to? Yeah, yeah, he does, yeah. <laughs> Loyal, resourceful, cooperative C.C. Baxter. Just let me explain. You'd better. And then he's going to want to as well. You realize if this ever leaked out, it won't. Oh. <laughs> it's just, just everywhere. <laughs> That's what happened in your apartment last night. Where are you going, Baxter? I don't want to intrude. I, I, I thought since everything was straightened out anyway. I'm not through with you yet. Oh, he's not through with you yet. Oh, I want to see this. He's going to want to use your apartment and he wants full use of it. Nobody else gets to use it. And then you'll get the promotion, but he's not going to pay you anything. He just wants your apartment so he can sleep with his lover. Look, Baxter, I'm not just giving these tickets. I want to swap them. Huh? Swap them for what? Oh, for your key. It also says here that you are alert, astute, and uh, quite imaginative. Not right now, he's not. <laughs> now remember, Baxter, this is going to be our little secret. Oh, yes, of course. Of course. Not that I have anything to hide. Oh, certainly not. Mm -hmm. It's none of my business. You and the other four guys. Oh, he's going to ask the, the elevator girl. Uh, I thought maybe we'd get a bite to eat first. I'm sorry, I can't. I'm meeting somebody. Like a, a girlfriend? No, like a man. <gasps> Shit, she meeting the boss man. She's meeting the boss man. Is she? Well, I could meet you at the theater if that's all right. All right, that's wonderful. It's that's a grand idea. Good evening, Mr. Sheldrick. It is him. <gasps> I'm a genius. I wonder if he's the reason she cut her hair then. I see you went ahead and cut your hair. That's right. You know, I liked it better alone. That's why she cut it. You don't know what it's like standing next to you in that elevator day after day. Well, leave your wife then. Then one day he keeps looking at his watch and rushes out to catch the 714. And it all begins to look so ugly. Oh, what an ass. I hate it. I really hate it. Can't we go someplace else? No, I have a date at 830. Important? Not very, but I'm going to be there anyway. Is she going to be there? I hope so. I hope he shows her what it's meant to be like to be in a relationship and not the other guy that's already married and an asshole. I saw my lawyer this morning. Mm. I wanted his advice about the best way to handle it. Ooh, maybe he will. Or does he all talk like they all are? <laughs> are you sure that's what you want? If you'll just tell me that you still love me. You know I do. You should have told him that you don't. And then wait and see if he still leaves his wife. And if he does, then you can give it a go. But if he doesn't, then you'll always know that he was lying and cheating and being a horrible, horrible person. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Who is she? Who does she know? She knows the wife. She knows the wife. Shame. That's not nice. That's so cool having your name on the door. <laughs>
Yeah, well done you. Well, after all, it's my apartment. It's private property. So you got yourself a girl. That's okay with us, but not every night in the week. <laughs> every night of the week. <laughs> Are you threatening me? Listen, Baxter, we made you and we can break you. Oh, God. That's, that's not... Mr. Sheldrake. Oh, oh, oh. Good morning, gentlemen. Everything satisfactory, Baxter? Oh, yeah, he can't if he's... Wait. Is, it, is he letting him use his apartment every night or has he just stopped everyone using the apartment? Now that you've got a raise, don't you think we can afford a second key? It's kind of a busy body. I was sticking your nose and everything and, well, passing that key back and forth. Why take... Uh-huh, uh-huh, you're right. Yeah. She threw it at me. You know, you see a girl a couple of times a week just for laughs and right away they think you're going to divorce your wife. Oh, you horrible, horrible man. You told her. So you haven't then. Thank you. But you were avoiding me. Well, as a matter of fact, I was rather hurt that night you stood me up. Mm hmm mm hmm I herewith declare this elevator out of order. Shall we join the natives? Why not? They seem friendly enough. Oh, your boss is going to see you two together. I'm Miss Olsen, Mr. Sheldrake's secretary. Yes, I know. Oh, the secretary. Four years ago, when we were having a little ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. Oh, and you still work there. And right before you was a Miss, um, oh, what's her name, uh, on the 25th floor. That sounds about right. Always the last booth in the Chinese restaurant and the same pitch about divorcing his wife. <laughs> yes. And in the end, you wind up with Egg Foo Young on your face. Oh, I like Egg Foo Young. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. Now I want Chinese food. You should all get together and go see his wife. That's what I would do. You know Mr. Sheldrake? Yes, she does. She knows him very, very well. Well, he and I are like that. Mm. He sent me a Christmas card. See? Did you get one too? <laughs> Makes a cute picture. Uh-huh. Here. You don't think it's tilted a little too much? I mean, after all, this is a concern. Uh-oh. 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 <gasps> Uh-huh, uh-huh. What's the matter? Um... Exactly what you're thinking is exactly what's going on. This is a tough one. Because does he love her? I know he really likes her, but does he love her? Because now he has to choose between her and his career. How about tomorrow afternoon? Four o'clock, okay? What the hell do you do? Go tell all their wives. That's what I would do. If you go tell all their wives, their wives will kick up that much of a fuss Bill. Yeah, I don't see a way out of it. You're screwed. Is that a girl even interested in you? That's the other thing you need to think about. You're just going to sit there and keep bawling? You won't talk to me? You won't tell me what's wrong? You haven't left your wife yet. That's what's wrong. Well, when you've been married to a woman for 12 years, you just don't sit down at the breakfast table and say, pass the sugar, I want a divorce. Yes, you do. It's not that easy. Yes, it is. <laughs> This isn't like you, Fran. You're always such a good sport, such fun to be with. Is that someone sitting in a rocking chair? Oh, I have a present for you. I, I didn't quite know what to get you. Here's a hundred dollars. You go and buy yourself something. Uh, you disgusting, disgusting little man. They have some nice alligator bags at Bergdorf's. What, what is that? Is that a man sitting behind them? Or is it like a, an ornament? <laughs> it looks so creepy. Look, Fran, I didn't realize it was so late. It's quarter to seven. If we hadn't wasted all this time, I have to get home and trim the tree. Wasted time. Jesus Christ, I hate you. Careful lipstick. Merry Christmas. I don't know if you deserve Baxter. You're being a silly girl. Is he going to come home and see her in there? What's her, what's she, oh, is she going to take all the sleeping pills? Is that what her plan is? Oh, he's going to find her in the bathroom. He's going to find her in the bathroom. Will she be dead? She'll be half dead. <gasps> She's in your bed. <gasps> go back, go back. Past checking out time. The management would appreciate it if you get the hell out of here. How many pills did she take? Come on, wake up. <gasps> she took them all. She took them all. Get her to the hospital quick. Help me, will you? Into the bathroom. Make her sick. Get that stuff out of her stomach if it isn't too late. You better put some coffee on and pray. Put your fingers down her throat. Ugh, instant cads. Want to tell me what happened? He doesn't know. 
I don't know. I mean, I wasn't even here. Tell him everything. Tell him the truth about your apartment. You see, we had the uh, lovers quarrel. If you'd come home half an hour later, you would have had quite a Christmas present. Uh, oh! Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> He's done that before. <laughs> Just let me sleep. No, you can't sleep, friend. Open your eyes. Oh, she can't sleep, okay. So that's why she needs coffee. We got to keep her awake for the next few hours. Walk. One, two, three, four. She's not doing any walking. <laughs> She's dragging her feet. <laughs> She'll sleep on and off for the next 24 hours. Of course, she'll have a dandy hangover when she wakes up. I would say. I don't know what you did to that girl, but it was bound to happen the way you carry on. Live now, pay later, diners club. Just tell him he's a decent man. He's not going to care. So you got off easy this time. So you were lucky. But you're not out of the woods yet, Baxter, because most of them try it again. <gasps> nah. Yeah, oh, well, she might. Yeah, she might. Stupid enough to do it the first time. There's so many. I keep seeing those lamps everywhere. They must have been very popular. Well, I found her here last night. She'd taken an overdose of sleeping pills. What? He's not going to care. He's not going to go. She left a, a, a letter. Would you like me to open it and read it to you? Well, it was just a suggestion. Oh, he doesn't even care about the letter. About that, I kept your name out of it, so there'll be no trouble. Police-wise or newspaper-wise. So he doesn't care. He'll be on to the next one after the holidays. Maybe not even after. He might even go now. Isn't there some sort of message you want me to give her? Well, I'll think of something. She's got a bang and sore head. That's why we have to be careful. We don't want to involve anybody. After all, Mr. Sheldrake's a married man. Thanks for reminding me. Well, you're the one sleeping with him. He doesn't give a damn about me. That's not the worst part. The worst part is I still love him. Just kick her out. She can fend for herself now. Her sister can look after her. I don't know. Kind of dizzy. Here, the best thing for this is a little noodle soup. A chicken bite. Mmm. Noodle soup. I had noodle soup like last week and it was called New York's Penicillin. And it was lovely. You oh. wash them, you break them. I'll come back for them later. <laughs> if he makes trouble, give me a yell. <laughs> You need her. You need her in your life. You play gin rummy. Ah, uh, three across, spades double, high deals. I don't know how to play this game. Why do people have to love people anyway? I know what you mean. You're not in love with them. It's not love. What do you call it when somebody keeps getting smashed up in automobile accidents? It's me with men. That's because you're picking married men. Girls are like, I attract bad men all the time, but that's why. Because you pick them. Women are stupid. <laughs> so they gave me a pair of white gloves, stuck me in an elevator, and that's how I met Jeff. Oh God, I'm so fouled up. What am I gonna do now? Stop going out with married men. <laughs> or shithead men. I'm gonna write a letter to Mrs. Sheldrake. You what? As one woman to another, I'm sure she'll un No, you should phone her or turn up at his house. For one thing, you can't spell. Secondly, if you did something like that, you'd hate yourself. No, no. Uh-uh. It's the best thing to do. You really want to discard that? Sure. Jen. Okay, what is this game? I don't understand. Spades of double. 154. You just go to sleep. You're no use to anyone. Not yet, anyway. Oh, wait, wait. Is this... Is he forgetting he's got appointments? <laughs> Oops. On Christmas Day. Hi, Baxter. What do you want? Are you going to leave, Mr. Kirkaby, or do I have to throw you out? He's going to lose his job. Hey, come on. What are we waiting for? Open up, will you? Mildred! See, you should have just told your neighbours. <laughs> God damn it. You're making it worse for everyone. Do you mind opening that window? Now, don't go getting any ideas. Who'd care? I would. Yeah, but she doesn't care about you, though. That's the thing. Good morning, Good morning Michelle. Michelle. Ms. Olsen, will you come into my office, please? Ooh, you're in trouble. Well, I thought you could hold your tongue. It won't happen again. You bet it won't. I'll arrange for you to get a month's severance pay. <gasps> That's right, Miss Olsen. I'm letting you go. <sighs> I'd appreciate it if you'd be out of here as soon as you can. Yes, Mr. Sheldrake. Go tell the wife. Tell her everything. But I was hoping maybe you could do something for her. Put yourself in my place, Baxter. I, I, how can I help her? My hands are tied. But you did this. You made all this happen. Now, let me put her on. What the and hell? Please, Men careful. and women. There's a call for you. What is wrong with people? Everyone. Hello, Jeff. 
Why did you do it, Fran? I ought to be very angry with you scaring me that way. But let's forget the whole thing. Pretend it never happened. What do you say, Fran? <laughs> Straight to killer cell. Let's just forget it happened. Well, you just get well. Do what the nurse tells you. I mean, Baxter. I'll see you as soon as I can. That's what he's hoping for. Baxter will make it all better and then you can be his lover again. Mrs. Sheldrake, I was wondering if we could have lunch together. Ooh. All right. One o'clock. Longchamps, Madison and 59th. Thank you. At least someone's going to do it. You get the pass key. What for? I thought I smelled gas coming from your apartment. Oh, shit. What the hell is she doing? I was boiling some water to get the coffee stains out of my dress. You turned it on, but you didn't light it. Are you supposed to? Oh, for God's sake. Straightening up the couch, you know what I found? A pair of false eyelashes and a swizzle stick from the store club. It's just that I'm the kind of guy who can't say no. And that's not true. And she knows that your apartment's getting hired out, so he, she knows. I'm looking for one of the elevator girls, Miss Kubelik. Hey, Mr. Dobish, 21st floor. Thanks. Well, who are you? My name is Karma Tushka. My sister-in-law, she runs one of the elevators here. Oh, sister-in-law, okay. Did you never phone her sister then? That was a bit silly. Anyway, we was wondering if somebody in the office knew what happened to her. What do you think, Al? We don't owe Buddy Boy anything. Who is Buddy Boy? <laughs> do you usually eat alone? Oh, no. Sometimes I have dinner with Ed Sullivan. The other night I had dinner with Mae West. Of course, she was much younger then. Cheers. From the TV. Look, Buddy Boy, if there wasn't a lady present, I'd clobber you. All right, Carl. <laughs> Sister-in-law sure is terrific. <laughs> He's mad. How's the patient? Oh, uh, I, I'm fine, Doc. Not you, Miss Kubelik. Because <sighs> I took some sleeping pills, but I'm all right now, so let's go. Why'd you take sleeping pills? On account of me. Oh, for God's sake. Why, do, why not just tell them the truth? Oh, you fool. Damn fool. This is all so messed up. She loves the wrong person, he loves the wrong person. The doctor doesn't know anything. Well, I don't want to gloat, but just between us, you had it coming to you. Yeah, you did. Because you won't tell anyone the truth. Let me get my bag. Don't bother, Doc. That doesn't hurt a bit. <laughs> Have you ever been in love with someone so bad that you didn't feel pain? I know how worried you were about Miss Kubelik. Well, stop worrying. I'm going to take her off your hands. <laughs> I have uh, moved out of the house. I'm going to be staying in town at the athletic club. What? I fired my secretary. My secretary got to my wife, and my wife fired me. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, it doesn't. No, 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 no. That's not allowed. That's the wrong way to work it. You should have left. And don't think I've forgotten what you did for me. This way, Baxter. Sit down. <sighs> Try it on for size. What? What's the matter, Baxter? You don't seem very excited. Well, well, he's not getting his girl. Oh, by the way, Baxter, you now can have lunch in the executive dining room. Also get a nice little expense account, use of the executive washroom. So what happened to you, Baxter? Tell him, tell him. Get kicked in the head, too. Oh? Oh, my God. This is all such a mess. <laughs> well, I suppose you heard about Mr. Sheldrake. You mean leaving his wife? I never thought he'd do it. He didn't? He didn't do it? She left him? You walking to the subway? No, thank you. I had this heavy date for tonight. Mm. Three weeks. That's how long it'll take to get over her. So I decided it would be better if we didn't see each other until after everything was settled. Divorce-wise. Good, he wants to be a bachelor anyway. And you're stupid, stupid, stupid woman going back there. Ridiculous. I'm so angry. <laughs> Aww. God damn it, you. I was looking for the porn. <laughs> He needs something to go home to. <laughs> Hope you picked a good one. Me too. I'm taking Miss Kubelik on. I finally talked her into it. I'm staying at the athletic club and it's strictly stag, so if you don't mind. Ugh. You're not going to bring anybody to my apartment, especially not Miss Kubelik. How's that again? Oh my God, is he going to tell him? Normally it takes years to work your way up to the 27th floor, but it only takes 30 seconds to be out on the street again. Oh, oh threats, threats, lots of threats. So what's it going to be? He's going to do it. You're sick. Sick, sick man. Say, Baxter, you gave me the wrong key. I've decided to become a mensch. You know what that means? A human being. Is he leaving? The old payola won't work anymore. Goodbye, Mr. Sheldrake. <gasps> Ooh, good man. Decent, decent man. 
Oh, he's leaving his apartment too. Too many bad memories. I ran out of ice. I was wondering. Sure, Doc. How come you're alone on New Year's Eve? Wait, is that all the time that's passed? That wait, what? Is that a year that's went or no? Is it just like a week that's passed or a whole year and a week? Goodbye, Doc. Happy New Year. Don't do anything stupid, please. I want him to find someone else and fall in love really quickly and I'll be a really decent lady for him. Actually, it's all Baxter's fault. Hey, wouldn't give me the key to the apartment. No, he just walked out of me, threw that big fat job right in my face. And so he should have. The nerve. Don't you dare. Said I couldn't bring anybody to the apartment, especially not Miss Kubelik. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. What's he got against you anyway? You made your bed. I guess that's the way it crumbles. Cookie wise. Nope. Nope, he needs to find someone else. You're not good enough. <laughs> Yay! Fran? Ha ha. <laughs> That's what you get. Don't you dare go crawling to him. What a bloody shame. That poor man. He'll be so confused. And you don't love him. You only love that he loves you. What was the champagne? <laughs> well, who knows? Another neighborhood, another town, another job. I'm on my own. That's funny. So am I. Yeah, just like 30 seconds ago you wasn't. I don't like this. I don't like... No, they shouldn't be together. Not happy about this ending. Change the ending. No. Uh... Did you hear what I said, Miss Kubelik? I absolutely adore you. Yeah, but she doesn't feel the same. Shut up and deal. She's going to force it because that's what she wants to want, not what she actually wants. Worst ending ever. Don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> that is not fair. That's not what's meant to happen. I'm angry. I'm so mad at the apartment right now. Well, that is not going to be my favourite out of the three just because of the ending. It's not how it should have happened because he deserves a woman that loves him as much as he loves her. And that is not what he got because she only wants him because he wants her and that's what she thinks she needs and it is what she needs but it's not what she wants so it's not fair he should have found someone new and it would have been a happy ever after <laughs> god damn it i'm just a sucker for like a proper true love relationship and not one that's forced and not one that's got married people in it and not one that's people are cheating or lying or or being dickheads <laughs> <laughs> I just like proper falling in love and everyone being in love and 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 always being in love and I like that and that's not what that was and that made me sad but I know I know what it was meant to be and that it was part of the movie and that it was such a it was a good plot it was a very very good storyline and it was a typical Billy Wilder yes Billy Wilder keep checking it was wild it was black and white it was i loved it i still loved it even though i wasn't keen on how the ending happened i really like um what's his name did i write it down jack lemon i really like him he's a very good actor i liked all the characters in this movie i just didn't like the, the ending <laughs> that's all what i've noticed about the movies um, let me try and say this, let me try and put it into words, is that there's not much, there's not much action movement, there's not a lot of stuff going on apart from focusing on the actor themselves and the energy that the actor is giving off. And you guys know I love that in a black and white movie. I love when it's all about the movie and the story and the actors and there's not even like music to distract you. It's just well written. Very well directed obviously. Oh, in all three movies it's very focused on relationships, certain relationships that are not 
I suppose the last one is like a very typical relationship because it happens all the bloody time like all the time especially now because now it's like th that's what people want <laughs> what's that called a folly something relationship which i just i don't get it and i don't judge really do i judge i maybe do i don't think relationships should be more than two people and that's maybe just me being old-fashioned it can't be good for a couple to have extra people going on it's called a couple for a reason and i might be wrong thinking like that but i don't think i'm wrong i think i'm right and i maybe i'm judging people that have that type of relationships but that's fine i admit to it <laughs> if you're happy no because there's always someone that's going to get hurt and i know like in that type of relationship when there's more than one person more than two people, sorry. It, you're supposed to all be happy, but I bet, I bet one, at least one of them is not going to be happy at some point, I bet you. From what I've seen, anyway, I have proof. <laughs> I have the evidence. Anyway, I'm going off track here. We're talking about Billy Wilder. His movies are very clean. They're very focused. And what I mean by that is there's no, there's full sentences there's no like jumping between w seeing other people and and um like i said with the last director what the hell is his name john hughes his filming style was the, all the j cuts and you're always jumping to someone else when the other one was still talking that it's not like that here it's just it's very it's very full sentences and you're still focused on that actor and then you go to the next one and it's it, there's no distractions and it's all clean and crisp and and neat <laughs> neat and that's it i think that's all i picked up on i really really loved all three movies i think i went to say a favorite but they were all very different in their own way i don't think i have a favorite i think i love them all individually i mean if i had to pick one i have a really itchy nose i suppose it would have to be some like it hot and that would be the one i would go to watch again like straight away but i think i would have to be in a different mood to watch each other it's so hard it's hard to decide i'm not going to decide i'm not deciding best movie ever this one best movie ever because i think i did that for the other two and i really 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 loved it it's just the ending guys it was just the ending that let it down what should have happened is the girl fran fan fran should have ended up with jeff and then jeff eventually cheats on her with lots of other girls just like he did with his wife and then she realizes and then she falls in love with someone else that she needs and wants but it takes years because that's what she needs is years to get out of that place where she keeps choosing the wrong men or maybe like a year but definitely not seconds which is what happened there and then um baxter Baxter should have met someone new, completely new, someone that he's not met before, possibly after he moved. So he needed to move. He needed to move apartment, move job, find someone new, and they click straight away. It's love at first sight, and there's the happy ever after. And that is how it should have went. Someone needs to hire me as a, an ending specialist so I can critique the endings of each movie and tell you how to fix them. And that is all I'm going to say because I have rambled on too much and I need you to like and subscribe and comment. Patreon, check out Patreon. Um, post notifications if you want to see when I upload it, you get a little notification. I get a little notification. I don't know why because it's, it's my channel. So I don't know why I get a notification. And I would appreciate it very much because it helps the channel grow and it makes me happy and I love it and I love you and I love you forever if you do that and I am going to go so thank you so much for watching I will see you in the next one goodbye